I want you to take a close look at this. This is the Alfa Romeo Tonali. It is new for 2024. It's the first new car that Alfa Romeo has introduced in five years, but that's not what's interesting. What's interesting is it was designed with you in mind. It was designed for women, especially women who commute, people who commute, people who live in the city, and people who like SUVs. And here is what is special about it and what you'll like about it. It is very well equipped, even at the base model, which has an entry level price of about 40, just under $43,000. It tops out at just over $47,000 fully loaded. Something else that's really special about the Tonali is it has the new face of Alfa Romeo. What does that mean? Come here, I wanna show you. So you'll recognize the traditional Alfa Romeo sort of triangle grill here and the air vents along the bottom. But notice these new headlights. There are three uh, half circles here and then also on this side. And we're gonna see this new face of Alfa Romeo on the Giulia and also on the Stelvio, two cars that we've really loved driving over the last five years as they've been introduced into North America. And they're gonna have this new face as well, the Tonali. But I wanna show you another thing, and that is these beautiful wheels. So these are a signature of Alfa Romeo. And I will tell you when they first came out with these, um, with the sort of a five pedal wheel, if you will, it reminds me very much of a flower. And when they first came out with this, we fell in love with these wheels. And clearly, so did everyone else because they are throughout the line. And the Tonali is this really beautiful, compact SUV shape, this silhouette. So it is large enough for five passengers, probably more comfortable for four. It's got nice cargo space. There's a charge door here for charging. There's a gas door on the other side. But overall, the silhouette of the Tonali is very elegant. It's very beautiful. It's not the boxy, rough and ready SUV shape. This is really an elegant, almost more coupe-like shape of an SUV that's designed for the city. That new face of Alfa Romeo that you saw in the front, you'll also see it on the rear. So it starts with these tail lights. They're triple sort of half circles here, a light bar, and then completes over here. You'll see the Alfa Romeo badge there and the Tonali name right here. And then there's a really nicely sized cargo area. So you have room for roller boards, you have room for maybe a set of golf clubs or a stroller, lots of room for packages, and there's extra room here underneath the cargo floor. Now that's a great place to put a charge plug, they actually include one here, so you could actually store that uh, under the floor if you wanted to. And it's nice. One of the things that I really love is this detail here. There are these little um, retractable nodules there that hold the floor up or allow you to put it down. And that's such a thoughtful detail. And of course, it's Alfa Romeo. It's luxury. And what that means is it's push button close. Let's go see what the back seat looks like because that's a big part of the story in the Tonali. The big story is in the rear seat. And that is, there's plenty of room in the rear seat for passengers. So room for a couple kids, a fur baby or two. There are cup holders here in this lovely armrest. The Top of the line, Veloci trim will have a panoramic sunroof, so everybody will have lots of sky view. And we also have leather seats, so very comfortable for everyone. Passengers in the rear seat also get vents here, which we know are very important. You can turn them on or off. And there are two USB ports here, so there's two places where passengers can plug in their devices. This is this seat is actually set pretty far back. I'm five foot eight. This is set for my driving position. This one's a little bit further back, and I have plenty of space. I've got plenty of leg room, and I've got plenty of foot room underneath the seats, so I can see myself relaxing and having a lovely drive in the Alfa Romeo Tonale Veloce. Another thing that we count on SUVs for is flexible cargo space or seating space. So the seats are a 60/40 fold. They fold almost flat, not quite, but this is what it looks like when the seat is folded down. 
All the goodies, though, are in the driver's seat in the Alfa Romeo Tonali. We are in the Veloce edition, which is the top of the line. It has everything standard, so let's give it a start. You hear the fan, but that's about it. That's because it starts up in electric mode. It is an electric car, essentially. It's a plug-in hybrid electric, so it's not fully electric, but that is where it starts. So I'm gonna turn the fan down just a little bit. And I wanna show you some of the things that you get in this very driver-focused car SUV. The Alfa Romeo steering wheel is something special. It is crowned by the Alfa Romeo logo right here. And it's very unique because look at where the stop start button is. It's right here, right in front of you. It's not actually hidden behind the steering wheel where it is in a lot of cars. It's right front and center. On the left side over here are adaptive cruise settings. And on the right side over here is the microphone if you need it, but you can also just say, hey, Alpha. There are uh, selector, there's a selector button here that will help you customize what you see on the screen. And then there is the radio control here. Then on the behind the steering wheel in the Tonali are these paddle shifters, actual real deal paddle shifters. And that's one of the things that makes this car unique. Many electric cars, even plug-in electric hybrids, have taken the paddle shifters and turned those into regenerative paddles. Not in Alfa Romeo land. Nope, these are actual paddle shifters. So you can use them in any mode, but they're best in dynamic mode. So when you put it in D mode or dynamic and you get that extra power, you hear that extra uh, throaty engine sound, that is the time to use the paddle shifters. And by the way, you notice that they are attached to the steering column, not the steering wheel. That's because that is a Ferrari design detail. The Ferrari roots of Alfa Romeo show in the paddle shifters. Another detail close to the paddle shifters is that the gear selector, you can push this over into manual. So you can actually shift up or shift down and using the gear shifter or you can use the paddle shifters so you have a lot of choices in how sporty you want your drive so you're also able to customize what you see on the screen here so i can choose if i want to choose my electric settings there's a nice little lightning bolt there that shows me when i'm using electric and then there's a gas engine icon there that shows me when i'm using gas i'm going to dial into a different drive mode. So this is natural or normal drive mode. Uh, when I put it into D, this is our um, dynamic setting or sport setting. And this you can hear the engine gets a little louder and then part of the gauge turns red. When I turn it down into A or advanced, this is EV mode. So you see the EV light there. And then you'll also see there's a power gauge there to show us how much we're using. Uh, how much electricity we're using. And then I can actually turn on e-save. You'll see it there. And then you'll also see the little EV icon. So now you see the EV mode here, and I'm gonna turn it down to A for advanced. And that is the most efficient. So that's going to automatically use electric. And you'll be able to see, there's a little uh, lightning bolt that'll light up there while I'm driving. And then when I get start, when I go fast enough that the system really needs to kick in the gas engine, the little gas icon will light up. It's a pretty cool way to be able to regulate yourself and just use electric. So that way you can drive all week long, do all your trips and all your errands on electric and use gas only for road trips. That's pretty cool. 10 inch multimedia system. It's been completely redesigned for 2024. And we'll see the same, same system in other cars, but the Tonali is the only one with this large screen. And you can customize it. So you can actually set these things up however you want. You can add a page, you can reorder the pages. And then I wanna show you this. So you also can click the little Alfa Romeo there, which is nice, it has the, the front grill on it. Um, and you can click through and pick different things. And so this is one of my favorites. There is a wake up word. So I can just say, hey, Alpha. And pardon me. Thank you. Cancel. And the system is there to give me Cancel. what I want. I can set the t uh, cabin temperature, I can turn up the fan speed, I can set the radio station, I can set navigation. Really great features. 
I can also, on under vehicle settings, get my trip odometer. I can see how I'm doing on my charge. I can see how I'm doing on my performance. So if I've been driving in D mode and I really want to see how that's going, I can do that. I can turn on or off the screen. And then here's my surround view camera. And so I can get a view of pretty much anything I want by uh, selecting that. And then over here, I've got the, the full set of settings here. So a lot of really great features so I can customize the performance of the system however I like. Here's my climate setting. So if I want to use this, I can turn on or off my heated and vented seats. There's my navigation. There are my phone settings. And then there is my Alfa Romeo Tonali setting right there. Just below the entertainment system are climate settings. These are hard buttons, which are nice because they're there all the time. You don't have to get them from the screen. You can change the air direction. The emergency flashers are there. Down here, we have a wireless phone charger, so that's nice. It fits my phone, which I always appreciate, and it starts charging right when you put it in there. Two USB ports, and then there's a cigarette adapter style 12 volt. Our DNA selector, drive mode selector, is here. There is a volume dial here. Uh, parking brake is here. Parking sensors, which you should always leave on. Don't dent the pretty. Um, and then there is the park assist. So this will help to guide you right into a parking spot. And e-save mode, tap this on to save the battery charge for later. And then a really good old fashioned uh, gear shifter to select your gears and if you want to drive in manual and use this to shift up or down and not the paddle shifters that is right there the alfa romeo tonali interior is a beautiful edit of the features that you most want and need so even things like navigation and heated seats are standard we are in the veloce edition which has leather seats standard the uh, sprint model which is the entry level comes with cloth seats and then the ti which is the middle model has a leather option but it does come standard with cloth seats now there's only a black interior but you do get a choice of seat upholstery there's different stitching and different details for different models the veloce edition also has something that you don't see here and that will be a panoramic sunroof in north america we don't get that here and it will be an option well we don't get that here in europe they didn't add that to this car but in north america we need our sunshine so they added that as a standard feature on the veloce and it is an option on the other trims as well in these beautiful farmlands outside of Milan, Italy. It's beautiful. The performance of the Alfa Romeo Tonali, great. It's an electric plug-in hybrid, so it has that instant acceleration. You can put it in e-save mode, and that gives you more, uh, you could let you hold your electric charge for when you want to use it. So when you're out on the highway, you know you're going to be going more than 30 miles, and you just want to hold your electric charge for later tap that on. By the way, if you're not at your full 30 mile range, it will add miles to your battery as you drive and as you brake. So that's kind of a nice little, uh, a nice little bonus from the uh, battery powered hybrid motor. So we are in N mode or natural. I'm going to put it in D for dynamic. Now in dynamic, it's a different thing. This is a different thing altogether. So you put it in dynamic and all of a sudden the, um, oh, the Armenengildo Arme Zenia factory we just passed. And there's, oh, and here's the luxury outlet. Uh, okay, I'm back. <laughs> we just passed through a luxury mall in Italy where the factory is. That's pretty amazing. Whew, I might have to take a minute to collect myself. In dynamic mode, the Alfa Romeo Tonali is everything that you expect out of Alfa Romeo. It's responsive, it's fast, you feel the engine 
kick up to the maximum performance level very quickly when you tap the accelerator. It absolutely is everything that you expect from Alfa Romeo. 285 horsepower, so not a surprise that this is gonna be fast and you can really feel the, um, the you feel the lack of energy when you take your foot off the accelerator. So you tap the accelerator or floor it and you really feel the thrust and then you take your foot off the accelerator and you feel it slowing instantly. And that's kind of what you expect from a performance car and especially one that is has an electric motor to boost the performance. So I've spent the better part of the day driving through the villages and the countryside outside of Milan in the Alfa Romeo. This compact SUV with more space than you might expect. It's electric. It has a, it's a plug-in hybrid electric. So it has a small electric engine that gives you about 30 miles of driving on a charge. And then it has a gas engine that gives you another 320 or so miles of hybrid driving on the tank, on a tank of gas. And 285 horsepower. I think in normal driving, normal traffic, it's gonna be fine. The real advantage of this car is all of the style and the really nice edit that we love from Alfa Romeo with partial electric driving. So 30 miles of range is basically daily driving on electric, road trips on gas. That's how you should think of a plug-in hybrid. Daily driving on electric, road trips on gas. And you know, if you need to go more than 30 miles, so you're just you know heading out of town for not even that far, but you know, a concert or an outlet mall or something like that, you're gonna use gas. And that's where you want to use gas because you wanna have that uh, confidence that you'll be able to fuel up the car and get where you need to go when you need to get there. But for daily driving, you plug it in in your garage, a 110 volt, which is, you know, same outlet that you charge anything else from your phone to your microwave oven, you put you plug that in every night and over a 12 hour period you'll get a full charge if you want to put a 240 volt uh, dryer type outlet in your garage then you'll get a full charge in about two and a half hours if you take it to a level two charger fast charger again 240 volts and those are most public charging stations you should be able to charge it in about two and a half hours Alfa Romeo Tonalis are going to start rolling into dealerships pretty soon. Priced at $42,000 and change to start, $47,000 and change all in. This is a luxury compact SUV that was designed with you in mind. How you live, how you drive, what you need, and all the style that you deserve in a compact SUV.